It's a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this graduation ceremony in the splendid surroundings of the Whitworth Hall. I know some of you will have traveled quite a way to be here today, and we all appreciate your presence. This is a very special day for you graduates. Some of you have completed a PhD, some have taught postgraduate course, and some an undergraduate degree. Whatever degree you've completed, this is a day to be rightly proud of what you've achieved. It's also a special day for friends and family of the graduates. You are likely to have played at least a supporting role in the graduates' achievements, not least through emotional and maybe financial support during the period of study. And I want to thank you on behalf of the university for the encouragement you have given. The University of Manchester is a prestigious university. It is ranked 41st university in the world by an influential university ranking. Now, under normal circumstances, one might not want to boast about coming 41st, but if it is out of all universities in the world, then it's quite an achievement. What makes us great are our people, staff and students. During your time here, each one of you will in your own way have contrib contributed to making us who we are. Not only our current students shape the university, our alumni are as important to us, and I hope you will continue to play a role in making us who we are also in the future, and that you will keep in touch with the university through the Alumni Association. It is customary on occasions like these to tell you of the famous people connected with the university. The atom was first split here by Ernest Rutherford, Alan Turing developed the first programmable computer here, and Ludwig Wittgenstein was a PhD student in aeronautical engineering here before he moved into philosophy. The weather has not encouraged you to linger outside today, but if you walked around the quad before you entered the building, you will have seen the list of our 25 Nobel Prize winners over the years, most recently the 2010 Nobel Prize in Physics for the discovery of graphene. Our alumni have made national and international impressions, not just in academic achievements, but in a broad range of fields. Our former students include the architect, Lord Norman Foster, Anna Ford, a broadcaster who was the first female newsreader on ITV, Margaret Beckett, a labor politician and the longest serving female MP. One of our former students and now honorary doctor is Sir Philip Craven, who has represented Great Britain in wheelchair basketball in five consecutive Paralympic games, who has also competed in track and field and swimming in the games, and who is now president of the International Paralympic Committee. It's quite possible that some years from now, when one of my successors present degrees like I'm doing today, your name is included in the list of famous graduates. However, whether you reach fame or not, what I and my colleagues wish for you is that you find your niche in life, professionally and personally, a place where your knowledge and skills are valued and used, and where you have the right level of challenge to develop further as a professional and as a person, while at the same time feeling secure in your abilities. I know that the degree you have completed at the University of Manchester will have prepared you well for this. Now all that remains for me is to encourage you again to keep in touch with the university and with my colleagues who have taught you. I hope you are aware that our alumni association, our careers office and our library will still offer you benefits now that you are not students but graduates of the University of Manchester. And now I will pass on to Dr. Arthur Garforth and Professor Hugh Coe to speak on behalf of their respected uh, schools. Thank you. Thank you, Kirsty. So, welcome to all and congratulations. Chemical engineering at the University of Manchester has a long and proud history. This continues with the many proud faces I see before me. Manchester has been known as the birthplace of chemical engineering ever since the first lectures were given here in 1887 by George E. Davis. You, our graduates in chemical engineering, are amongst the most employable and highly paid of any discipline. 
This reflects the applied nature of your course, exemplified by the large pilot facility that you see, which is the largest for any academic department in Europe, and it supports the school's position among the research elite. The school's success is underpinned by the philosophy of dissolving barriers between related disciplines. The importance of chemical engineering in Manchester has been recently epitomized in the building of the new pilot facility, state-of-the-art James Chadwick building. This 16 million pound building was proudly, uh, formally and proudly opened by Sir Bill Wakeham, president in 2011 and 12 of the professional body, the Institution of Chemical Engineers, who reiterated its leading role that Manchester plays in shaping the future of chemical engineering. The opening was a great opportunity to showcase this facility, which incorporates a pilot plant hosting a race of a range of rigs from an assorted and quite elite group of companies from oil and gas sector to food and consumer products and includes teaching state-of-the-art facility. You will have had the opportunity to show this off, I hope, a little earlier at the reception uh, prior to the ceremony, if the weather allowed you. The opening continued to be a, a symposium where the Chemical Engineering Matters was, was launching the vision of the Institute of Chemical Engineers for the future. This vision highlighted your role in the, next future, in the future years in four key areas. Securing sustainable energy supplies, food and nutrition, access to clean water, and finally, health and well-being. Excuse me. The vision reiterates the need for greater engagement with policymakers and also highlights the need for increased public awareness and engagement to overcome the negative and often inaccurate public perception of chemical engineering. Chemical engineering is ideally placed to navigate the world through this time of unprecedented change which will be your careers. I do not need to tell this audience that there is a continued strong international demand for talented chemical engineers. We pride ourselves on the experience we give our students, which includes lifelong skills learned through problem and project-based learning. The excellence of our students continues to be recognized. We have produced the best chemical engineering graduate in the UK twice in the last three years, won the prestigious Salters National Prize for Chemical Engineering in the last three or four years, and won the Institution of Chemical Engineers Design Prize led by Professor Webb, who's with us today, the last two years running. The experience and success of our student is underpinned by the quality of our staff, some of whom are sat to my left, many of whom win awards for teaching and learning, including the Institute of Chemical Engineering ExxonMobil Excellence in Teaching Award, the last two years running, as well as a number of University of Manchester awards. The winners of these awards really make a difference a positive difference to the lives of our students and epitomize our approach to not producing not only well-rounded chemical engineers, but also well-rounded people who thrive in the real world in what they choose to do. Our graduates are equipped to achieve many things from working in the oil and gas sector, the food sector, the energy sector, and the finance sector, and do include the president of Trinidad and Tobago, to name but one. So before I present the graduates today, I know that they would wholeheartedly want to thank their brothers and sisters, their mums and dads, their aunts and uncles, their granddads and grandmas, uh, for all the support that you have given them over the last year for the PGT, three years for PGR, and four years for uh, undergraduate. On behalf of my colleagues and myself, we wish the graduates every success as you enter the next phase of your career and do come back and see us, as Kirsty has already said, if you get a chance. And please enjoy the rest of the day with this ceremony. Thank you. Ready to go. So, Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Salam Ali Nazri. the stage. Abu Bakr Umar McCarthy.
Noor Alia Abdul Rahman. Amir Naji Ahmed. Rana Tabid Al Rubaya. Francine Edwards. Mona Gari. Amelia Louise Markey. Elias Martinez Hernandez. David Morgan. Georgi Schill. Anka Taranu. Peter Taylor. Linda Trin. And for the degree of Master of Science in Advanced Chemical Engineering, Sakan Jitaya Khan. Merv Koyuyan. Shihao Lin. Joseph Matthew Newton. Karishma Pyler. Ize BG Obevone Wohiran. And in advanced chemical process de design, Bahrain Farouk Abdullah. Antonia Ifomo Agulonu. Mesut Bekir Ogulari. Joseph Dobson. Tewo Hassan Ibrahim. Coquille Jane. Andrew James Lowe. Niku Nogbakti. Siti, Siti Najia Binti Othman. Hens Ching Sia. Elamin Ali Elamin Mustafa. <laughs> Benjamin Bradley. <laughs> Leandro Labanca. <laughs> Gallet Nitson. Wen Hao Jean. Yi Shou M. Zhao.
and in biotechnology, Deepa Janardhan. Dersan Jain. Wen Li. Christina Perez Rivero. Kyle Vichy Shanmuga. Yalong Xiao. Push Pindarit Singh. Kui Zhe Yong. Zi Ching Zhou. Torizeju April Amur Hoye. Sonia Chisas Charmandabi. Luen Gong. Anayo Chimo Onwura. Meta Siawesh. Stephen Walsh. Nancy Wana. Shue Zai Chu. One before. Apologies. Xiaobin Jean. Is that correct? A technical glitch, I apologize. So, and in environmental and sustainable technology, Xu Wei Zi Chu. Yes, that's right. The right degree. Oyin Damola Ati Nuke Fadope. Cheng Fan. Yanan Fan. Chanfei He. Fei Mo. Bosha Wong. Media Putri Johanna. Chen Sing Zhao. Chen Chen Zhen. Ho Wei Zhen. Jordanis Zoom Puli Ardis. And in Revinery Design and Operation, Uchenna McDonald Agba Akwe. Tariq El Sala. Jason Ferns. Ali Humani. Dorda Ibrahim. Moren Nikkei Johnson.
Kamo Kubrasek. Innocent Matsiki. Ugu Chuku Franklin Nerji. Norul Malakaya Binti Sida. And for the degree of Bachelor in Engineering and Chemical Engineering with honors, yes, yeah, smile at me, good man. Shah Kaizan Shahari. Good afternoon to all our graduates and their family and friends. As head of the School of Earth, Atmospheric and Environmental Sciences, I'm very pleased to be here today to, to, to join with you all in celebrating the success of our graduating students. Our school is one of the oldest in the university. The first professor of natural history, William Williamson, was appointed at the opening of what was then Owens College in 1851. And that was 19 years before the university moved to the magnificent buildings you're in today. It was Williamson who began the marvellous collection in the museum, and I would urge you to visit if you've got time. It's, it's, it's excellent. The school now covers a broad range of disciplines, including geosciences, environmental sciences, and atmospheric science. And today, we're celebrating the successes of students who have studied in our school and have achieved their goals. Several of today's graduates have obtained PhDs in recognition of their independent research achievements. Many of our students are receiving MSc degrees, rewarding their focused learning in petroleum geoscience. We are also congratulating students from our undergraduate programme who are graduating today. And very well done to you all. We're proud that the training of our research students is so closely integrated into our excellent international research activities. Some examples involving today's graduates include biomarkers to study pigments in the fossil record, identifying colour in extinct animals. Our research students in atmospheric science have developed new understanding of black carbon, or soot, in the atmosphere, have developed new techniques to probe chemical composition of air, using aircraft techniques, and have worked on nitrogen fluxes above peat wetlands. Our geosciences students have worked on problems as diverse as gas hydrates, sediments in Libya, and Antarctic submarine geomorphology. A very, very wide range of skills and expertise. And these students have learned those skills, are at the cutting edge of research, and we've, the, the training has helped them to develop the next generation of scientific leaders in their field. These achievements are already helping them to take up fantastic opportunities in a broad range of careers, including in major oil and gas companies, in university research groups, and in research institutes focusing on preserving the UK's natural ecosystems. Our petroleum geoscientists are involved in a large number of industrial consortia with companies such as BP, Shell, BG, Schlumberger, and Maersk. These collaborations offer our students, such as those graduating from our petroleum geoscience master's program today, fantastic opportunities to learn an environment closely linked to leading companies in the industry. They will be working on challenging problems that are important for our energy future, including advanced oil extraction and shale gas. Today, all of you join the wide community of alumni from our school, many of whom have gone on to become leaders in their chosen fields. A member of the school's environmental science industrial liaison board is a past graduate of ours and now runs his own leading UK environmental consultancy business. Other alumni include the current executive director of the British Geological Survey and the former deputy chief scientist of the Met Office. But whilst today is very much about the achievements of you all graduating in the hall, it's also the case that these achievements would not have been possible without the strong support of family and friends and so, not just for students 
who are graduating from the School of Earth Atmospheric Environmental Scientists, Sciences, but for you all, um, I think it's a great opportunity for you to, to recognize this. So please, can all of you who are graduating today stand up and turn that way? Go on, up your stand. Now, thank you. Turn that way and give a massive round of applause to those who've supported you on the path to where you are today. Excellent. You can sit down again now. I'm sure that all of you who are graduating today will build on the hard work and dedication you've displayed throughout your time with us and achieve the greatest success in the future, and you all very, very much deserve it. We wish you all the very best for your future careers, and congratulations to you all. Please keep in touch. Thank you. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Holly Barden. Jenny Ann Gales. Alana Jurgis. Michael Robert LeBreton. <laughs> Rebecca May McKenzie. <laughs> Christoph Siri. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Derrick Wood. And for the degree of Master of Research in Medical Sciences, David James Lowes. And for the degree of Master of Science in Petroleum Geosciences for Exploration, Matthew Oliver Duck. Duck. Nicola Danielle Eland. James Jertsen. Rhiannon Jones. Martin Kennedy. Emily Kirk. <laughs> Venkata Rajasekra Modadugu. <laughs> Yabol Nupilov. <laughs> Timothy Machia Digiqui Ohiara. God's power, if he took woody on your nanu. Christine Elizabeth Roach. Emma Sutcliffe. Heather Joy Wilson. And in Petroleum Geoscience for Reservoir Development and Production, Luke William James O'Connell. <laughs> James Edward Thwaite. <laughs> Dr. 
Robert Tagumi. And for the degree of Master of Science by Research in Atmospheric Science, Amy Catherine Hodgson. And for the degree of Master of Engineering in Electronic Systems Engineering with Industrial Experience with Honours, Jack Weckley. and in Geology with Honours, Paul Anthony Goodrich. If I can then ask all the graduates to stand up again, but this time for good, and put your hats on. Well done, everyone. And I now declare this ceremony closed. <laughs>